Okay, let's play a game. Try to guess what we're drawing. If you said boat, you totally nailed it. Of course, it is pretty easy. But let's see what the Bible has to say about boats. So, our verse is James chapter 3, starting verse 2, it says, Indeed, we all make many mistakes. For if we could control our tongues, we would be perfect, and could also control ourselves in every other way. We can make a large horse go wherever we want by means of a small bit in its mouth. And a small rudder makes a huge ship turn wherever the pilot chooses to go. Even though the winds are strong, in the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches. But a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire, and the tongue is a flame of fire. It is a whole world of wickedness corrupting your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is set on fire by hell itself. People can tame all kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and fish, but no one can tame the tongue. It is restless and evil, full of deadly poison. Sometimes it praises our Lord and Father, and sometimes it curses those who have been made in the image of God. And so, blessing and cursing come pouring out of the same mouth. Surely, my brothers and sisters, this is not right. Does a spring of water bubble out with both fresh water and bitter water? Does a fig tree produce olives or a grapevine produce figs? No, and you can't draw fresh water from a salty spring. What is God saying to us in this? He says the tongue is a deadly evil full of poison. My goodness, what's he talking about? Well, he's not necessarily talking about your tongue. Like, you know, if you decide to taste something, then, you know, it's this horrible, you're setting the world on fire. But rather, he's talking about the words that we say, the things that we do with our tongue, right? We use our tongue to say words, to, to say things, and it's what we use to, you know, s tell people what we think about them. And if we say nice things, then we are uh, loving them the way that God would have us love them. And if we say mean things, then it says it's like, uh, it's like cursing somebody who's been made in the image of God. That is uh, totally not what God has for us, right? So if you look at our picture of a boat or a great ship, right? I mean, this is a honking big boat. And it talks about, in this verse, talks about the rudder. Notice how tiny the rudder is compared to the whole ship. And yet, that tiny little rudder is all it takes to move the ship one way or the other. And God is saying it's just like that for our mouths. What we say can have a huge impact. The things that we, you know, what we think can be good and bad, right? And what we do can be good and bad. But the things that we say have a huge impact on those around us. I mean, think about it. Some of the examples it gave, you know, out of the same mouth comes blessing, being like, oh, you know, I love God and you're great. And then also cursing, like, ugh, I hate that person or um, I don't believe in God. You know, these sorts of things ha have big impacts. What you say can make a big difference. I mean, the Bible is telling us that uh, it's like it's like a fire. It's like a little spark that can set uh, huge fires. Um, you, if you paid any attention to the news a little while ago, there were huge fires uh, across uh, like whole states. Um, like a big portion of California was on fire uh, maybe like a year ago. I can't quite remember. Um, but little stuff like that, it's not like somebody goes out there with gasoline and lights a fire it happens just because it's a hot day a couple sparks get spread out and boom it spreads like fire and that's what can happen with your words because if you tell something mean about somebody else then that can be repeated by another person and can be repeated and now you're gossiping and you have a whole bunch of people hurting that one person by what you said 
And God is telling us, we have to watch our tongues. We have to watch what we say because it has a big, big impact. Just like a giant ship can be moved by a tiny little rudder or an animal can be moved by uh, like, a, like a leash or um, a little bit in its mouth. That's how you move horses around. Um, or even how a giant forest fire or 50% of California can be on fire because of a little spark. It's the same thing with our tongues. And you know what else it says? It says, a tiny spark, this is verse 5, a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire, and then 6, and the tongue is a flame of fire. It is a whole world of wickedness corrupting your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is set on fire by hell itself. It's telling you that you got to watch your tongue because it's natural tendency, the thing it's going to want to say is going to be the wrong thing. It doesn't say, oh, you know, your tongue is this great fire, but it usually does the right thing. No, it says you are set, or your tongue is set on fire by hell. Then he's like, oh my goodness, all the bad ideas, uh, all the wrong things, that's what's going to come to your mouth right away. When somebody makes you angry, you're going to think and want to say the wrong thing. That's going to be your first thought. It's going to be the first thing that pops to your mouth. So we, as Christians, have to make sure that we are thinking ahead and going, oh, I can't say that. What should I say instead? What can I say that will bless somebody instead of curse somebody? What can I say that will be nice and good and kind as opposed to what's popping into my head, which is all the bad things, right? And it's super important that we do this because, like God is saying, this is huge. It may be a small thing. The tongue, small in your body. And you may feel like a few words, eh, they're just words. It's not a big deal. It's not like I punch somebody, right? But God is telling us that words are powerful and we have to think carefully about what we say. It talks about, uh, about people being made in the image of God. That means they are reflections of God. That means when we talk bad about somebody, we're talking bad about you know, somebody that's created by God, somebody that reflects God in some way. And so when we talk bad about somebody, we're not just sinning against that person or being mean to that person. We're also breaking God's rules. We're also sinning against God. And, and that's a, a big thing. So remember, your tongue is small, your words are small, but they have a big impact. And God is telling us to watch them because their first jump, their first inclination, the first thing they're going to want to do is to say the wrong thing. So we have to watch our tongue very carefully. And as Christians, we need to be trying to tame it and trying to create in such a way or live in such a way that the words that we come up with, the words that come out of our mouth are, are good and kind and nice and build each other up. And that will make a huge difference in the world. So remember that. Big boat, tiny rudder, big world, tiny mouth, make a difference, say the right things not the mean things, not the wrong things that tear people down. All right, have a good rest of your day.